Hello world, human sustainability here. So I went and got myself a piece of gear. This is called the Drag Harrow. Drag Harrow. Also known as a Chain Harrow. Also known as a Mesh Harrow. This one is 6x4. Um, just picked it up. Um, for those of you who are city mice and don't know what these things are, this piece of equipment, you drag this across the field, a pasture, uh, you know, a, a, on a ranch, um, on a on a road, and what it does is breaks up hard earth and smooths the ground. It doesn't level the ground. There's no leveling here, but it'll break down the, the high spots and it'll um, kind of fill in the low spots. Um, most people drag these behind tractors or like an ATV or something. Uh, I'm just using the truck. Um, I do have some concern. Um, this here is kind of concerning. That one area back there uh, without the hitch on here, I, uh, the breakaway angle is, is um, it rubs. So I'm not sure you know, what I'm gonna get out of an additional four inches on the end of that. Um, most trailer hitches come with the ball on the other side. I just unscrewed this, reversed it to put the ball on top to kind of uh, bring that breakaway angle out uh, or lessen the length of it, uh, rather. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drive back in there with this thing, see if it can uh, help out with the road at all, how rough the road is, and, and kind of level out that road a little bit. Uh, I say level, smooth out the road. Uh, a little bit um, and we'll see how this thing does. Uh, I'll drive you back in there so you can see kind of a what it looks like before and then um, the plan here from, from my plan is uh, whenever I'm leaving the, the back in there, whenever I'm leaving to go on an errand of some sort, I'm going to go to the store, I want to go eat out, I want to go grab a beer, um, I'll drive it out, leave it here, and then when I come back in, I'll drive it back in. Um, and that way, whenever I'm coming in and out, I'm always harrowing the, the road. I'm um, hoping that that'll smooth it out a little bit. Um, and I intend to just leave it back in there, all the way back in. I'll put it on the property. I'll, I'll throw a tarp over the top of it and, and leave it there. And like I said, whenever I'm coming out, I'll you know hook it up. And then whenever I'm going back in, I'll hook it back up again. Um, this thing, you can, you can add like cinder blocks to put more weight on it. I'm not sure that I need to do that just yet. Um, at some point in the future, I may, may do something like that. But uh, right now, it's, I mean, this thing weighs about 150 pounds by itself. Um, so I'm hoping that this will at least kind of start smoothing out the road. So uh, let's get to it. Wow, so um, I may have misjudged and I may need to put some weight on that because I expected it to dig in a far, far more than it did. Um, it, it did pull down the vegetation as you can see, so that's good news. Um, I think maybe tomorrow, it's, it's Friday night now and you can hear the rain coming down. Uh, I think tomorrow I'll come in and out a couple of times with this just to, I don't know, work at it a little bit, I think. Oh, okay. So, pulled up a stump, so that's good news. Um, like I said, it did pull down some of the vegetation, uh, but I may have severely uh, underestimated 150 pounds being drug across this ground. Uh, I may have to weight it down. I don't know. 
uh, maybe just you know repetitive 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 will get me get me where I need to go uh, anyhow it's raining I got to get set up before it gets dark and uh, we'll see if I can get you more of this as I go in and out thanks for watching eat more fruit